And I believe we are live right now. Let's check this. Do the thing. I'm still getting the hang of all this. If there's like an easier way for setting up a stream, I would love to know. Because I'm like, okay, I gotta put in the thumbnail really quickly. And then gotta change the thing. And, oh wait, that's not right. Let's add the freaking thumbnail to that. Uh, boom. I actually have so much fun making these thumbnails. It's ridiculous. It's like I'll have coffee in the morning and I'll make a thumbnail. It's bliss. Okay. I think that's good. The game we are playing today is, as you know, Tears of the Kingdom. So we're going to go The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. 2023. Nice. Okay, allow all comments, including the ones with constructive criticism. Let's come up here. It says visibility is private. <clears throat> I think we're going to want to make that public. I was not aware of this. Let's go like this. Is it private? I don't want it private. I guess when this goes up as an after, you'll see this portion. But let's make sure that it is being seen. Okay. Go like this. Make sure this is good. Go to studio. We shall resume in just a moment here. You may skip forward and time travel for me. Okay, it says it's private. Let's make that public. Publish. Now we're live. Pretty certain of that. Let's make sure of it properly. That we are truly live, in fact. <clears throat> okay. Let's go like this. I want to make sure everything's all good before we get started. You are now live on your channel. There we are. That's exactly what I want to see. Okay. Viewer videos. No, let's go here. Double make sure we are live. Yeah, I think we are. I'd like to open up the chat. Okay. You'll have to pardon me. I got a kind of a thing going here. I'm going to try and make sure that I'm watching the comments here just in case we do get some people coming in. Uh, let's turn this down. Okay, go like that. No echo. I think we're good here. All right, so let's go here. We're going to go for perhaps a couple hours. We'll see. Um, we're just going to pick up right where we left off the other night. Let's go like that. Okay. And make this baby full screen. Okay. Nice. Good to go. All right, let's go jump in okay so we're gonna speed things up here we're gonna try and speed run the game in the next 10 minutes we're gonna finish it in 10 minutes okay so let's try and do that okay so first off we're gonna get the heck out of here because this is not a good place to be That's already full. Okay, that's convenient. Get the heck out of here right now. We've got one person watching. Thank you very much, whoever you are. If I know you or if I don't, I appreciate you nonetheless. So what we want to do is get down here. First off, I'm gonna go sled down here. Yes, this little thing here. Okay, nice. Nice and safe. I was saying constantly last time, this game is absolutely beautiful. And I am just constantly going to vask in and how breathtaking it is. 
I have been thinking a lot about how to sort of connect the streams with music because this channel is really focused on music, the discovery of it, and just talking about a love and a passion for it. So I have been trying to think of how can we connect The Legend of Zelda to that. Because right now it's really just a backdrop for me talking about music and then creating something nice to look at while we're talking about music. But in the meantime, what I do want to find is the shrines so we can advance here, get off this island. Uh, so we died right there. Maybe we're going to go over here. Maybe we go up that and over here. <clears throat> can I go... If I'm facing in this direction, it's going to be to our left. Hmm. This island is huge. Okay. Let's get going. Again, we do have one person watching right now, so I appreciate you. I do want to talk about the reviews, the one-minute reviews. I've been thinking about doing a separate live stream of me just freely talking about... Wow, this is beautiful. Can we just take a second here? Wow. Holy... Okay. Uh, like I was saying, <laughs> before I was rudely interrupted by uh, an amazing sunset. Oh crap, how am I going to get over there? Huh. Tricky, tricky, tricky. That's one. Okay, we want to go over there. Yeah, but like I was just saying, I do want to do a live stream where I'm just freely talking about the seven albums that I reviewed, along with the way that I review an album, because it is sort of unlike the traditional sense of rating it out of a 10. So let's start with that, I think, because that's an important thing to talk about that I haven't really voiced on the channel yet. But so the way that I am reviewing these albums, I'm view viewing it from a from a perspective of being as useful as possible. <clears throat> Pardon me. <clears throat> and by that, I mean, instead of rating an album out of 10, which means absolutely nothing to me or you, say somebody gives an album four out of 10, what does that mean? You just have a rough idea of that being, ah, oh, that's an okay album, right? But that's, that doesn't really tell me a whole lot about the songs. It doesn't tell me a whole lot about the quality of the album other than, oh, it's kind of mediocre. A four sounds kind of mediocre, right? But I'm reviewing that a little differently. So when I say four out of 10 in one of my reviews, what I really mean is four out of 10 of those tracks are the only tracks that I think are really, really worth returning to often or just in general listening to. Ooh, wow. So that's the difference. That's the, the simplest way to, to put that. So then if there are, let's say, hypothetically 12 albums, sorry, not 12 albums, 12 songs on an LP, and I give that album 10 out of 12, that means 10 tracks out of those 12 are really worth coming back to and re-listening to um, following a first listen. I did get a bunch of heat for the Queens of the Stone Age review that I gave. I gave that one a 4 out of 10. And I admit I wasn't in the best place when I reviewed that, so that was kind of partially influencing the review. Ooh, hey, this is how we're going to get over here. Nice problem solving. Let's go. Okay. Um, yeah. So that that did reflect in the review of this of this album. Like the Queens of the Stone Age album was titled like Clockwork, which in itself is a good album. The songs are really really well made, but the entire tone of it is so gritty and dark, and. <laughs> Trying to find any sense of enjoyment in, in like the grittiness of it all is a real challenge, um, and I was promptly given lots of shit for that. <laughs> but hey, I appreciate that. That's fine. I I like 
when people have different opinions. We're not supposed to all have the same opinions, but I didn't really like that album, and I got lots of shit for it. So that's fun. Let's attach this baby. And then... <clears throat> I'll continue about Queens of the Stone Age. So, with that album, if you know Queens of the Stone Age, they actually just released a new album today called... Prob actually, no, it's titled... Times New Roman, I believe. I'm probably not going to review that one for a while. Oh, shoot. But... Oh my gosh, I'm getting distracted here. I can, I can multitask, right? I can do that. That's fine. I just got to figure out this stupid thing. I hate this. Let me just rotate this nonsense can we just like rotate how do i rotate l and then r ah uh, okay 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 i see you okay this is good this is good we're getting somewhere i got you i got you and attach that baby and then this should slowly roll all the way over there oh this is so cool <laughs> okay is it gonna go any further um <laughs> Oh, wait a second. Maybe we could try this. Um, but I'd like to push it. How do we push it? Hmm. I do want to finish talking about Queens of the Stone Age, though. Can I push it with this a little bit? No. Okay. Let me see if I can climb this. <coughs> Pardon me. Go like this. Woo! Here we go, baby! Oh, that's fun. Okay. Ow. Right into the wall. Okay, that was a much better solution, I think. We're going to leave uh, the goat man alone. Uh, we're not going to talk to him because... No. Just no. Um, but like I was saying about the Queens of the Stone Age album, I'd probably closer give that a 6 out of 10 tracks. But I gave it a 4 just because the rest of those tracks are just really dark and it's hard to find indulgement. That's not a word. Uh, it's hard to find a proper reason to indulge in that when it's just really bloody and gritty and just grime and gross. While there are albums that do, you know, convey that sort of nature really well, that one... It's just miserable, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> like, Clockwork is... I, I don't know. It's, just, it's, it's miserable. But, like, out of those four tracks that are, like, really good, like, uh, I Sat by the Ocean is incredible. I listened to that song so many times. Um, what was another one on there? Ooh, off the top of my head. Ooh, it's not coming to me. Okay, I'll move on. But... Out of those four others, like, those ones are top-notch. The Vampire of Time and Memory is really good, too. That's a nice piano piece. Um, what else? No, I think I'll leave it at that. But, yeah, so that that's, that kind of explains the reviewing system of how I review an album, whereas anyone else's review is usually going to be, I gave this album an 8 out of 10, and you should listen to it because A, B, and C. I know exactly what you're doing here. Yeah, so that's that's usually how they would review an album, but now you know. Maybe I'll make a separate video, maybe I'll do a, a channel trailer thing and explain it again properly where more people are seeing it versus in this giant li like live stream that I'm doing. <laughs> um, but let's talk about some of the other albums that I reviewed. So some of the favorite ones to start with. Go like this. I'd love to see if any of my friends are online right now. I can see one person watching. <clears throat> Don't know who that is. Make a little bridge. And then I'm just going to walk across it. That's all. All right. Let's talk about A Broken Frame, Depeche Mode. That was the first album that I reviewed. And, and I will say, I've been calling these albums seasons right so like each month i'm trying well i am not trying there is do or do not there is no try as master yoda once told me there so i'm doing seven albums per month to review and in those seven i'm trying to release those the first day of each month oh, shoot i just realized something 
have been here. Hmm. I'd like to go this way. I'm getting distracted by myself. We do want to cross this. Huh. Let's maybe go. Because it is that way. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, we can make, make our way down. Making our way downtown. Walking fast. Faces past and I'm homebound. Ba da 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 da. Pop, pop, pop. My apologies. This just, just happens. I'll hear a single word and then I'll start a song we'll just play in my own head. Uh, maybe we will go talk to the goat. I think he has important information for us. Oh, that was good. Mm. If I do say so myself. Okay, so broken frame, day pesh mode. I gave that one, I want to say... Shoot, what did I give that one? I know I gave it a really good score. It was like a near-perfect score, but nostalgia does still have an effect on me, I will admit, because that was one of the first albums I heard as a kid. And I do remember fondly listening to that on, on this tape I got from a garage sale as a kid. And listening to that, along with probably 200 other albums on tape i wore that one in particular out to a point that just didn't even it just stopped working or it would just skip tracks because i i wore it out so much so it was kind of about time that i reviewed that album in particular let's see what mr goatman has to say i see there's still wait no <coughs> i see that they're still at work even now we originally created the constructs to assist in our endeavors. All of us were fond of them. I never imagined they would continue to carry out their assigned tasks to this day. Hmm. The fact that their labor no longer serves any purpose, yet they still perform it still, it is disquieting to me. Okay, that, I, that was useless, I'm sorry. No offense, my, my guy, but... Okay, let's... Let's go like it is. Let's take this. Let me just go with this and we throw it at the robot. Oh, so it is somewhat sentient. Yeah, so that, that broken frame... <clears throat> pardon me. I have probably... The way that I listen to music is I, is I usually listen to an album every single year. Like, I'll listen to one specific album during a specific time of the year. And I'll usually like recycle that album when the time comes to listen to it again. So it's like, I'll give an example, like The Soul Cage is by Sting. That's, I, I can't even review that album. I'm like, it's my favorite album, maybe of all time. That's, that's a huge thing to say. But where was I going with this? Oh my goodness, what was I thinking? I just got distracted. There's a second person watching. Wow. I love you, whoever you are. That's cool. Appreciate you. Um, I lost my train of thought. What was I saying? I was saying something. I was like, okay. It was like about the way that I was re reviewing albums. I don't even remember. Crap. Crap. I hate when that happens. What was I saying now? I don't remember. Okay. It'll come to me. Knock on wood. Hands up. Let's try and find or build some sort of a structure that we can use to make our way over the bridge here. Connect these guys here. This might be the best way to get over the other side. Like that. I really wish I could see who the second person is. I'm so curious. Okay, don't let me. That's fine. That's fine, that's cool. No worries. Mm, I'm add it right here. Still, I'm still bothered by what I was saying. I'm trying to remember what that was. I'm trying to remember soul cages. Uh, so we're gonna go. Mm, okay. Okay. 
Okay. I see you. Don't. No, oh my gosh. Okay. Jeez. Oh, <clears throat> Pardon me. Hmm. How do we use this? Great question. I don't know. Hmm. Again, I do apologize about the screen flickering. I don't know yet as to why it's doing that. Because it do seemingly doesn't do that if I'm playing it without being on a live stream, but it seems to do that now. I don't know. Let's see. Again, thank you to the two people who are watching right now. We actually have 140 subscribers right now, and I'm acting like that's 10,000. And I give myself that same kind of stress as if it were 10,000, which is an unhealthy thing to do, but I do it anyways. <laughs> what? The, the turkeys attack you? Since when? Wow, I was trying to be nice to these things last time. Get out of here. That's it. That's it. Stupid turkeys. This creature is a threat. Yeah, I know. Of course it's a threat. Stupid chickens? Are you kidding? Who is talking? Oh, this creature is a threat. Yeah, I know. Thanks. Okay. Oh, there we go. There's another one. Let's go like this. Bada boom. Okay. Ooh, wait. One, two, three. That's not that's not so friendly. No, I'm not feeling that. Um, oh, there's like a lot. I gotta watch out for these stupid chickens. Oh, I gotta watch out for him. Okay. Let's go. Yes. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Go like this. Is there one more I'm not aware of? Oh. Well, what do you know? Can I... Let's do this. Yes, get your attention. Boom. Okay. Right, the whistle is handy. I'll give it that. Okay, let's go this way. <coughs> Oh, shoot, I remember what I was talking about. Okay, 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 okay. So I was saying, <clears throat> because we're talking about Depeche Mode and a broken frame, the way that I'm reviewing albums and the way that I listen to albums is because I listen to nearly the same albums every year, but with some differences in between. But Sting the Soul Cages is one of those albums that will play every year for probably all of eternity. And that is an October album, in fact. But A Broken Frame is actually a June album that I probably return to every single year since I was a kid. So I've heard that album probably hundreds upon hundreds of hundreds of times as a kid. Um, so there are those few albums that I've listened to over time. And with those few albums... Oh, I know what we're doing here. And I'm not going to get distracted. <laughs> and with those few albums... I have a lot to say with those, but I definitely want to talk about stuff that's definitely out of my league. Like, among those Lizzie McAlpine, I would never probably listen to that normally. Um, but I have friends who have listened to her. Along with, uh, you've, you've heard it here first, one of the newer albums that I'm going to be talking about in the beginning of, I want to say July, is I'm going to talk about Zella Day. She is a new musician, which I don't listen to too many newer musicians. It's usually older stuff from 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, that sort of deal. Um, I'm going to review her album, Kicker. But, where was I going with this? Oh my goodness, it's so easy to get off tangent. Um, but with that, I do want to talk about as much music as possible. 
and there are hundreds and hundreds of albums that exist today that just need to be recognized for like their their technological achievements and everything else above that you know um, what are we gonna do with you my friend okay <laughs> what the, what is this guy you scared me oh you can see me I'm a Korok one of the children of the forest I was traveling with my friend but we got separated hmm <clears throat> so we want to... My friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. Mm. I'm so tired, though. I can't move. I'll help you, my friend. Just like the penguin in Mario 64 will throw you over the waterfall. <laughs> I'm so tempted. But would that solve anything? Um, I kind of want to go over there. Um, maybe we can help this little, this little fella here. Wow, this is this is a sight. Look at this little guy. Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> okay. You know, yeah, we'll figure it out. Let's see what we can do. Maybe we attach this little fella to him. That's fun. Okay. I'm enjoying this. This is cool. I think we've been live for about 30 minutes now. Oh, this is so weird. Okay, my friend. We'll get you there. Don't worry. Oh my god, I'm so not used to this weird... Okay. Holy goodness, that's that's a thing. Oh my gosh. This little Okay. Yeah, so as I was beginning to say earlier, with that with the way that I'm reviewing the albums, like some of them obviously I know like the back of my hand, but then there's others like, say, Zelda Day that I really don't know, but I definitely want to talk about. Let's go like this. Ooh, this is a good idea. Whee! <laughs> oh, that's fun. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Wow. That's clever. Where did he go? Can drop them in here? Wow, that is interesting. Okay, let's go let's drop him right here, see what he does. Reunited at last, thanks. I'd like to give you something, but here's all I have. Some poop. That's nice. He gave us his poop. Alright. Alright. We're gonna keep moving. We're gonna make our way over to that, uh, that large structure this guy right here but we got to figure out a way to get over the water because we can't swim over there so if you can think of any ideas let me know down in the comments for the two people that are watching I see you out here all right help me I don't know what to do I need your help let's check out if there's any chests up here go like this go like a dad so we've talked about, we've covered a little bit of Queens of the Stone Age. We've covered a little bit of A Broken Frame by De Depeche Mode. Some of the others that we reviewed, what do you think? Gordon Lightfoot, that's a big one. That's a really, really big one. Um, with the passing of Gordon Lightfoot, he has sort of been brought up into the mainstream, at least a little bit, by people. Um, but he definitely deserves more praise and more recognition. What the? Yeah, so Gordon Lightfoot definitely deserves more praise and more recognition, so it was only suitable to talk about his his album Sunrise now than more than ever, I would say. Um, 
<coughs> Pardon me. Oh, you know what? I just realized I got one of these babies. Pardon your ears and mine. Sponsored by Bubbly. This is like my life. Okay. Let's do the shield thing again. Let's see. Oh. Up! Okay. Nice. That is so fun. <laughs> Jeez. Um, so Gordon Lightfoot. I have been listening to that one for not very long. That particular album, Sunrise, I've always known the song. And that was something that was like an early memory for me as a kid, because I remember hearing it in the car uh, growing up in Canada, in the Toronto area. And I remember hearing that song so, 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 so many times growing up as a kid. Push this guy off here. Nice. And I never actually knew what the song was. I never knew, because by that point, uh, Shazam didn't exist. Shazam is a blessing. I use that all the time. And I remember listening to Sunrise all the time as a kid in the car, never, ever, ever knowing what that song was and being so, so frustrated because the radio wouldn't tell you. They'd be like, yeah, this we're just going to play another song. And then they don't tell you what it is afterwards. And it's like, are you kidding me? How am I supposed to know what song you're playing so I can look it up and buy the album? Uh, never knew for years. Oh, we got some of these guys. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Nice. Wow, they got... Oh, shoot, they got some health. Choo-choo jelly. Nice. Grab that one. And, like I was saying, I was listening to that album for... Oh, sorry, that song as a kid for the longest time, Sunrise, by Gordon Lightfoot. Never knew what it was, and then up until, I want to say... Maybe like a year ago or later, I had the song come up and I'm finally like, okay, let's let's Shazam it. I have I have Shazam, let's do it. And then I finally figured out it's Gordon Lightfoot. Okay, interesting. And then I kept that in my back pocket. Didn't really think anything else of it. Okay. And then I heard uh, the what was what's the song? The The Fitzgerald. The uh, the 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 boat that what's crap what's the song I don't know the song so well but that one and then I started hearing more people talking about his music and more and more and so on and so forth um, other YouTubers other people talking about it and it's like okay this is this is like everywhere especially that he sounds so much like the can the Canadian version of Jim Croce which is insane to me because that's exactly what he is. But the only difference is that he wasn't, uh, he didn't die in a plane crash, thankfully. Which, even that is up for debate, because who the frick knows what goes on in the world. Wow. This is beautiful. Once again, it's like always sunset in Tears of the Kingdom. I did realize there's something back here that I overlooked. Yes, okay. Yes, very good. Okay, let's go like this. Let's make a boat. We're gonna make a boat to cross the water. That makes the most sense. Oh, okay, let's cut down another tree here. Oh, a Korok. That's exactly what I needed. Okay, so we're gonna go and make a boat. We're gonna attach this bag. Nice. And then, oh, this is so fun. This is so clever. Are you kidding me? This is just, oh, man. Okay, before we jump on the boat, I want to explore over here, see if there's anything else that we can use on our quest to find Princess Zelda. But yeah, that's that's kind of the idea with Gordon Lightfoot is like he just kept showing face everywhere. And then when I heard that he passed away, immediately shocked. I think he was 88, 89 years old. And then by that point, I just started doing the one album, one minute reviews on my channel of albums and things like this. 
and then I think, hey, this is the perfect time to talk about this album, and I want to keep listening to more of his stuff, and I really want to figure out what his actual influences are, because he's got a lot of, like, Motown sort of groove-type levels. It's, it's really hard to put Gordon in a box. He is still folk music, but he's different. And not like Jim Croce different. He's like really, really special. And he's like a real gem to like Canadian history. Uh, especially with the stories that he has told in other tracks. Like the uh, the Fitzgerald. Oh god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get crap for this for not remembering what the title of the song is. <laughs> but very, very special musician. And really pours a lot, especially in that track. Um, is there anyone home? I have listened to that song so many times, non-stop. Is there anyone home? Is like one of the best songs I think I've ever heard. It's incredible. It's just the like the instrumentals and then like the voice and and the way that he's using okay, wait. Oh, don't go yet. I just wanna do this. Yeah, but it's the like the way that he's got like this. Like this cylindrical melody that's similar to a merry-go-round, but then it's also a gun. That's so brilliant. Like who who I don't know if that's intentional in the way that he like sculpts a song, but like that I, I recognize that and I hear that and I'm like, holy crap, this is like the most insane song that I've ever heard that like nobody's gonna get this. But here I am and hearing that in the track. And I, maybe I'm completely alone in that, but is there anyone home? That song, my gosh, by Gordon Lightfoot. Holy God, so good. Uh, and then I just had to talk about the album because like, there's so many others on there. Uh, Carefree Highway, he, he actually discovered that song, or sorry, he got the title for that song because he was, like I said, on the highway. Oh no, I don't have a, I don't have a, th actually maybe I can, I can probably get to the other side. Let me just go slowly. Yeah, he got the title for Carefree Highway because he was riding on the highway with a friend. I think it was like a producer on that album. And then he sees like a sign on the highway that says Carefree, like live carefree or something like this. And then he's like, we're on the highway, live carefree, carefree highway. And then he, he sculpts the song in like 10 minutes or something like this. And it's like, what? Just because he saw something in his everyday life and then he turned that into the song. Just so cool. That is that is a real skill that almost nobody has. Like to go to go someplace and experience something, and then to turn that tangibly into a thing is is surreal. That's just the coolest thing to me. Um, let's get rid of this guy. Okay. Oh my gosh! It's like a blob, and it's like still defeating me. It's ridiculous. Yeah, so he is he is incredible. Gordon Lightfoot, my goodness. Okay. Okay. Alright, we're good. We're good. We are good. Alright, so let's keep going. We're gonna do this, I'm thinking, till like probably probably gonna go for like another hour I'm thinking we're gonna make this stream a little bit longer because I am talking about music and that's that's what I wanted to do this time just a relaxed sort of time to talk about music and you can use the backdrop of Tears of the Kingdom it's a lot better than just me going live and just talking because you have something else to look at and you have something else to focus your eyes on while I'm talking about these incredible albums that I've been hearing and I'd love to hear the music that you guys are listening to and if you ever want to recommend an album for the one minute reviews please do leave a comment and let me know because i will consider that in the upcoming months and the upcoming seasons of reviews that i am working on all right so let's get this guy i would sneak but he, we are right in front of him okay yeah. okay Rush. Oh. Thick stick. Mm. Okay. Okay. Donkey Kong would be proud. Okay, 
let's get this guy. Oh, they're fighting each other. That's weird. I'll just let them do my work. Let's just watch. They're actually fighting each other. This is like zombies versus humans. Okay. I'm go Ooh, we got bad, bad guys over there. You know, let's take them out. Let's kind of carefully go over here. We'll just harvest them. We'll let them finish each other off, and then we'll jump down and do a... Oh. <coughs> they got... I got busted. Let's get this guy. Thanks. He's like, what? What? Uh-oh. Sorry. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's go like this. Lost a viewer. That's okay. No worries, compadre. All right. What other albums that we, did we talk about that I do want to talk about? Let's grab this bad boy. Let's see here. Really quick. Gonna go like it is. I wish there was a chat. The wreck of the Ed <laughs> Edmund Fitzgerald. Yes, exactly. Lost in Lake Superior. How about a Tom Jones review? Yes, that's a great idea. I think that's a great idea. I definitely want to do that. He's got one of the most unique voices out there. And I have a, I had a, a, a great person that I know, a great friend of mine, tell me that he is... Uh, his descent is, I think, like half, half Mexican and then half something else, but that's what gives him his distinct voice, which is... Pretty incredible. I, I, I wasn't aware of that, so to my friend who may or may not be watching right now, that's pretty incredible. That's very cool. Let's see. I do want to talk about Oh, yes. Okay, so we'll talk about another one of these albums. So we've talked about Gordon Lightfoot, we've talked about A Broken Frame, and we've talked about Queens of the Stone Age so far. I want to talk about Lady Gaga, okay? This shocked me okay and i'm going to say this on stream because it's a little easier to what he's throwing rocks what is this oh god why do you have a flame shield oh my gosh what I need to go, I need to go, I need to go, I need to get the heck out of here. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, let's just take the chest and get out of here. <clears throat> Soldier Reaper. Okay, I don't know what that is. Ooh, yes, get him. Nice. That's good. Okay, we're safe. For now. Yeah, the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. That album would be a great one to review at some point, along with Tom Jones. But I do want to talk about Lady Gaga's first debut album. And I, I sort of mentioned it briefly in the review, uh, just how provocative her lyrics are. And what is fascinating to me is almost every single track, she's woven this provocative nature into every single track on her debut album. I, and I'm pretty sure she is writing the music on her own. Oh, hang on, let's get let the, get away from under this tree. <clears throat> Excuse me. Is that a cave? Discovery. Okay, we're gonna go back in here. I'm kind of scared of that. Uh, we've got three people watching. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. I don't know who the third person is, but I appreciate you. Um, so we were just talking about uh, the review that I did on Lady Gaga's The Fame, and I just wanted to talk about that a little further now that I can sort of talk freely and I'm not on a clock of two minutes. Which, those are the parameters I have set for myself, because I want it to be as quickly and as digestible as possible telling you the best tracks that are worth listening to, and really, that has to be two minutes. Like the, like, the idea behind the channel is if the kind of content that I was creating existed elsewhere, 
I would easily be a subscriber, but nobody else is doing what I'm doing right now with this like two minute, one minute review thing where you can listen to a rev- yeah. where you can listen to a review and then know right off the bat what are the best songs to listen to, and then telling you the kind of tone vibe that it's setting, and then it gives you a reason to either listen to it or completely ignore it, and that's the value that we're bringing to the table here. Um, but back on the fame. By Lady Gaga. Okay, so I'll break down what was that one song? I mean, you've got like paparazzi's got tons of provocative stuff. I do want to talk about Poker Face because I didn't say this out on the sh- I didn't say this on the review. That is, um, if you check the lyrics of Poker Face, y- you I'm sure you know the lyrics, right? It's like pop 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 Poker Face, pop pop Poker Face, right? Sounds innocent, and it was played everywhere, even like places I remember distinctly in Niagara Falls, Clifton Hill, right? Clifton Hill used to play that music all the time. They used to play it at the, uh, what was it called? Um, uh, the Ripley's, like the Ripley's house, like with the building that was like toppled over and you got the uh, King Kong Godzilla guy hanging off. Yeah, they would play that all the time there, and I remember distinctly walking by that as a kid, and... She's not saying pa 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 poker face, pa pa poker face. She's saying fa 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 uh, her face. Fa 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 her face. Right? Not but the first sentence, like the first verse is pa 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 poker face. Fa 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 uh, uh, her face. Which is crazy to me. And they play that on the radio nonstop, which is nuts and was not censored. And even, even like the thing that happened in the 80s when, um, what was it, Al Gore and Twisted Sister, okay, this is, I want to say 1989, maybe early 90s, before like, you know, like the parental advisory label came out, okay, I do want to, I'll move, I'll move forward, um, just so you have something else to look at while I'm talking here, but you know when the, oh, this is spooky. You know when the parental advisory label came out for all albums? Is that dangerous? No. That actually came out of the 80s and 90s when music was deemed like too provocative and and unsafe for kids, right? And with that, uh, Al Gore, I'm pretty sure it's Al Gore or something Gore, Al Gore had this huge movement to bring to parents and everyone else in the 80s. Punk music is terrible, um, among many other things, like Twisted Sister is about, like, doing the nasty and other things and do not uh, commit this bad crime that I don't want to say live because that might hurt the stream. (laughs) As there's, like, one viewer in here now. I had four for a second. That's fine. Um... No, but th- th- that's why it existed, right? Because you had like this parental label, and this parental label came out, and they were trying to censor music like Twisted Sister, right? And then this is just a f- like a fun little history lesson for you. So then, the the lead of Twisted Sister, I forget what his name is, he was called into court, okay? And him being called into court. Al Gore was expecting to wipe the floor with him and put in the rating system like really heavily, like a lot worse. Um, like how movies have like the 13 plus, the M rating and so on and so forth. And same thing with video games. Um, but the lead of Twisted Sister shows up, absolutely destroys Al Gore in like this incredible, incredible back and forth of just being so sharp and so witty in being able to back up all of his statements in this court showing, which is like on YouTube, and you can check that out. And he completely shocks the whole courtroom because he shows up like full twisted sister and they're looking at him up and down like, oh, this guy's just like some punk fool, right? They're looking at him, he's punk, he's this punk fool. Get out of here. He's not going to be able to back up any of his arguments and we're going to win no question. And then uh, brings up some other stuff and completely trounces everything that Al Gore has to say. What is that? What are what? Oh my gosh, what? Oh my god, what? Is that bad? What are, what the, whoa, okay. 
Bubble gem. What is that? <clears throat> I don't know what that was. Okay. Um, sure. I don't have stuff to blow this up. We don't have bombs anymore. Uh, I don't really know where I was going with this whole story here. But the... Oh, no, no. Okay, so we're talking about the rating system of music and how it came about. So it came about in the 80s, right? So after this, this court president's thing happened and existed, the, the lead of Twisted Sister put him in his place. Um, and I don't know what the history of after this and what came of this after, but... Let's kinda, I kind of want to destroy this, but... Yeah, no, let's destroy it. That's okay, it's just a stick. I'll get more sticks. So, his effort to break this stupid... Okay, got it. So, in, in his efforts to stop the rating system, I think he did stop it from being a lot worse than having, like, a bunch of rating systems. We only have the one single parental advisory label on, like, most rap albums and most other stuff. But to circle back on what we're talking about, Lady Gaga's The Fame, that album, where she's dropping provocative stuff, like, left, right, and center, playing Poker Face that is dropping several F-bombs, and it's going right over everyone's heads, did not get that rating at all which is insane and like really just backs up how how intelligent she is in her songwriting skills and i just i can't i can't get over that and then among that um am i supposed to say this um, i don't know who's watching this kids i don't want kids googling what i'm going to talk about yeah, it should be fine. Okay, so a few slang terms that she uses in, in her lyrics that I didn't include in the review because there wasn't enough time in two minutes, uh, and that's that's on me, <laughs> was one, chewing on pearls is a slang. Look it up if you want or don't. She includes that. Very brilliant because, again, flies over everyone's heads, and she's dropping this stuff left, right, and center. Uh, loving you is cherry pie. Another slang term. Um, those are the two probably biggest ones. Uh, but she has no problem getting away with that. Not being stuck on the rating system where it harms... Oh, nice. Let's use that. But not getting stuck on the rating system where that harms the sales of her album. But somehow exists out of that. Which is so cool to me. Um... So that was a great, that was a really great, like, start for her career. Like, that entire album is, like, gold. Okay, let's see, where are we right now? <clears throat> Excuse me. No comments, okay. No other comments, I mean. Okay. Where to? How are we doing? It's 11, okay. It's fun just, like, talking about music. I have, like, so much of this, like, stupid wisdom that I shouldn't have. But, man, like, music is just, like, my life. Like, I, I don't even play games anymore. But, like, this is, this is, like, a rarity, you know? Plus that we can play it on stream, you know, get together. I think that's really cool and fun. I'm probably going to want to get back. I still don't know how to connect this stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. We may have need excuse me have need of these parts there these no there are more materials near the water available for you to use okay let's see here yeah so that that's just me gushing about lady gaga's the fame and i know she has like a secondary album what am i doing with this i have no idea okay yeah she has like a secondary album that was released after that has she she titles like the the yang or something like the yang of, of it's like a double album um that came out just probably a year after that the fame came out let's be careful around here uh, okay maybe we want to let's go like this connect a few of these. A 
We're gonna connect it to you. I think that makes I think that makes a lot of sense. Go like this. We go like this. That's the thing. <coughs> Pardon me once again. How did I discover Lizzie McAlpine? That's a great question. I am not quite sure, actually. Actually, you know what? I'm lying. I'm dead ass lying to you. I'm so sorry that I had to lie to you about that. But I actually do just remember how I discovered her. Uh, Jacob Collier, among many musicians, is seen as... What the heck? He's seen as uh, a little bit of a prodigy in music. Probably too much so. Oh. This is curious. Oh my gosh. Jeez. It's sinking! We're sinking! No! Oh my goodness. How do we get down? <laughs> Let's go like this. I don't even know, my dude. We're still sinking. Can I do this? Go up. Go up. Go up. How do we go up? We're gonna jump for it. Ugh. It's a little risky. dead okay <laughs> just for the shot all right <clears throat> i don't know what to do about this it's a little weird oh okay 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 fine i i get it i'm a dummy yep thank you where, where are the where are the comments <laughs> twisted mister <laughs> yeah i'm glad you're listening to my story yeah, but no, that was cool. I'm still trying to figure out. Yeah, so Lizzie McAlphine or McAlpine. I'm gonna get over here first. Hang on. Okay. Get this. Oh, he's got a lot of health. Oof, sheesh. Okay, let, I gotta focus here. What's he doing? He's doing some charge crap. Oh, come on, dude. He's got a what? That's not fair. Oh yes, finally! Oh gosh, we gotta like be safe here. Message retract. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Yeah, good. Give me the stick, Captain Construct One Horn. Okay. I see you. Ah, good, a better bow, finally, thank you. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I don't really know how I came across Lizzie McAlpine, or McAlphine, McAlpine, let's say. Still don't know how to pronounce her name. But great, she's got great stuff too. A new musician that not a lot of people uh, older than me know about. <laughs> She's definitely a younger musician who garnered more success to the younger crowd. Can I climb up this? Let's just see. I'm going to be quiet for just a second. Nope. Okay. Got it, Chief. I definitely want that chest up there, though. Stambald. It's an onion. Uh, that's another mushroom. I do really want to get up here. Let's see if we can grab one of these guys. What is happening? And now I can grab them. Okay, cool. That's fun. Am I just stuck here now? <laughs> hmm. God. <laughs> what? Yeah, 
just, I just gotta. You just got, you just gotta. I know. Okay, thank you. That's uh, a lovely comment. Uh, yes. I'm gonna try and build a thing here. I'll go like this. <laughs> Gets rid of the comment. I'm the only one who saw it. Okay. I see you. So like this, 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 this. Let's connect the tree. One big tree. Tree. Yes. Now nah, we're talking. <clears throat> Amber? I did all of that for Amber? Are you joking? I wanted to go the other way and now we're stuck over here. Uh, okay. Alright. Let's see. What do we do with this? Okay, we're gonna bring this over here and see if we can breathe a little closer. Oh, it's sinking. Interesting, I can't move it when I'm on it though. That's funny. Ah, okay. No, the other way. That's a bit much. Nope. I'd like to get the other power-ups so I don't have to do all this nonsense. Oh my gosh. That was... That, that gave me a mini... T terrible scare. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so where to? Thinking we would like to get up there. Let's talk to the goat guy and see what he has to say. Mm. The steward contracts were the first to be built. After that, we crafted others suited to different roles. Culinary contracts. Maker constructs. You'll find all sorts of them still active in this place. Some became so skilled within their specialties that they surpassed us. We begin to learn from them instead. Mm. You should take time out to talk to them. They can teach you many things you might not know yet. Yeah, I don't really wanna. I, I, I like figuring it out on my own. Look, they're sleeping now. Hmm, okay, so we're gonna make a boat again to get to that side. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't have that much else to say about Lizzie McAlpine. Uh, she's good. She's a year younger than me, funnily enough. Um, it would be cool to like just have like a circle of musicians, you know, just like have a community, so to speak. I mean, that is, that is sort of the idea with the YouTube channel, but man, like, what what a dream it would be, and really just saying it could make it happen, but having, like, a community of musicians that I know would just be, like, the coolest thing ever to, like, shoot ideas off of, or connect with, or, like, anything you want to do would just be, that that's a dream, that's a dream come true, honest to God. I don't know how to power these things still. 
had a little trouble with that last time. See, nothing. I'm like, what what needs to happen for them to work? I still only got one power up here. <laughs> It's like, this looks good, right? You're like, okay, this makes sense. We've got three logs, and we've got two fans. What's, what am I missing? <laughs> we got these two. Smart uses on transport objects. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird, dude. It's weird, and it doesn't make sense. Special controls. Mmm, special controls. Got one person watching. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's just stick it in the water and hope for the best, huh? Uh, maybe we listen to the goat. The goat. We'll see what he has to say. The boat to the side. I don't know how to get it started. The one thing I'm missing out here. Let's talk to these robots and see what they gotta say. Maker construct. Okay. When will we be able to cross again? The Zonai devices by the water are still in working order if you need one. Ah, it seems you do not know of Zonai devices. They are necessities around here. Allow me to explain. This green thing is called a Zonai device. Okay, good. The one you see here is a fan. You can produce wind on demand by striking it. That's a lie. That's a lie. I've done that like three or four times by now, and it's not given me any sort of idea that that's true. You can produce wind on demand. They are self-evidently useful. We have a variety of Zonai de devices for multi... Multitudinous. That's a new word I've never seen before. Using Zonai devices does require energy. An external energy cell will be necessary in your case. There we go. That Now that makes sense. Pardon the long explanation. It does not change our need for a raft. Zonai devices are extremely useful. Think creatively and you will find many ways to employ them. Yeah, but where's the battery, man? <laughs> Give me the battery. Currently, we are resting from this task. So maybe it's going to be like, here, make us a raft and we'll give you an energy cell. Especially the tools we employ. The earnest is here. Yeah, okay, yeah, so turn to the fan for a minute. I will turn to my rest. So maybe make him a nice wrap. Ah, you may have need of these parts. There are more use more materials near the water available for you to use. It's very difficult to rest peacefully when things like this happen. I'm not waiting. Oh my gosh, you're joking. I has to be morning for this to work. <coughs> Is there a fire to sleep at so we don't wake the robots that aren't supposed to be sleeping? That doesn't make any sense, I'm sorry. Ay, 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 okay. Okay. Can't believe they're sleeping at a time like this. Fish are swimming in the water. Let's see, if we just drop a raft on them, do you think they'll be receptive? Danger. Yeah. Wake up. You schmuck. Oh my goodness. How do I get my first power cell, though? Give me a power cell. Where do I get power cell? Oh, it's ro 
Uh, sunrise, wake up, you dang robots. It's time to cross the waters. <clears throat> Speaking of, I can talk about the Alan Parsons project, iRobot. That's one of the other reviews, right? So that one was a personal favorite for me. Let's see if these guys will wake up first before I get into like an extensive chat about those. Oh wait, maybe this is where we get the battery. Was this here? No, 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 I came through here. Mm -mm. Shoot, dude. These robots should be awake. Wake up. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Why do robots need to rest? I thought the point of having robots was so they don't rest. Oh, goodness. Hmm. Process of figuring this out. I'm waiting for the robots to wake up because they're sleeping. That's really annoying. Either that, or we just use ingenuity to create something completely different. Screw the robots. I still don't have a power cell, and I don't know how to acquire a power cell because the robots are sleeping. Oh my gosh. So, why don't we make a bridge instead? Get robots. I'm gonna regret saying that in a few years. <laughs> So like I was saying, iRobot, Alan Parsons Project. That, that album is incredible, phenomenal. What else can I say about it? It's probably not their best album, I would say. Because there are a few tracks that do hit a little too hard for me. But I like the, uh, the opera sort of tone that it takes. I gave that one a pretty good review. Like, most of the tracks are worth listening to. Aside from a few, like... Nucleus. Um, like the very last track is good too. It was like Genesis chapter 32, like verse three. It was like a, it's like a Bible passage, right? Um, the interesting thing about that is, that, so the very last track on iRobot is is titled as a Bible passage, okay? And this said Bible passage that's available in Genesis is a Bible verse that actually doesn't exist. And my take, which I didn't include in the review, but I'm just recalling now, one thing that I that I failed to include, which I would have liked to, was this, this verse of Genesis chapter 32, from my take, in my opinion, is that... Maybe the robots will wake up as we're waiting for them. Um, but my take is that in the actual Bible verse preceding the last track on iRobot, it states that on the sixth day, man was made and humanity now exists, right? And, and so I'm thinking that this supposed last Bible verse that, that exists as verse 32, which doesn't actually exist in the Bible, is kind of like the... The, the missing chapter of the Bible where AI and robots were actually created, which is very fitting that that is the last track on the album. Oh my gosh, what? So I do like that subtext, which again, not a lot of people are going to get, but I think it's a very, very, very clever idea on Alan Parsons' behalf. Okay, let's see if these robots are awake. I want to see this. <clears throat> I cannot teach you how to use them. I am occupied with other matters. Okay. These guys are useless. 
These river rafts are seriously damaged. They may be beyond repair. This could present a problem. Yeah. That's what we're trying to see out here, compadre. Oh my god, they're still... Ah, okay. Materials near the water, okay. Mm, can you tell I'm getting frustrated that they're not giving me a power cell and I don't know how to get one? I'm just working around it. Because I'm like, okay, what the heck else am I supposed to do? Okay. Very close. Don't want to do that. I need that right now. Let's add one more. That's what I'm thinking. That'll, that should do the trick. Or we just use a Korok leaf, actually. Uh, we're we're kind of committed already, so I think we're just gonna do it. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, no, let's just do it like this. Ooh. Still don't know how to get a power cell. Maybe that'll come up later. But they're not giving me one, so that's frustrating. What is he doing? Okay, let's go like this. Swing it around. I can hear a spooky door open behind me. No. Oh, it's gotta be longer. They thought of that. So awkward, oh my goodness. I'm trying to figure out a different way without the use of a battery. Because I haven't given me one yet. Hmm. Probably thinking, yes, I just lost what I was looking for. Okay. But not necessarily. Hmm. giving us a lot of choices, but I'm trying to figure out the app, like the proper way of doing this that's as efficient as possible, but I don't think that's going to be the case here. What is this thing doing? It is like all over the map. What? Okay, let's go with this. Down a thing. That is spooky, my dude. No. Can we not? Oh god, do not fall, do not fall, do not fall, do not fall, do not fall. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Things you do for love. Okay. Let's just do it the old fashioned way then. Alright. Make a wrap. Give it some sort of a sail. Take this back, boy. It's so weird. Okay. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Does that work? Kinda. I guess. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm trying to figure this out, but it's not... They're not giving me the tools I need yet. These robots don't have anything of good use for me. Like this. Just jump in. Can we 
I don't like that I hear the door behind me moving. And why am I gonna need... Oh. It's not like... Oh, it's not like the old Corex. That's weird. Okay. Uh, hmm. How are we going to get over there without a battery? A great, great, great question. Oh, I don't like that. That's, that's a spooking me out. Okay, I think I have an idea. Let's go like this. We're going to take what we created before and use this. gonna sort of just walk the plank just like so and then oh my goodness what is this how I go is this how I go no this is ridiculous what what the actual heck Okay, that is the most ridiculous way to go down. Wow. I have so many things to say. Okay, that's ridiculous. Yes, I'm an idiot. I'd like to know the actual way to do this, where the battery is, but the robots won't give me a battery. So what? Now, what are we trying to do? Oh, now I'm under the raft. Great! It doesn't want to grab it. Grab it, Link. Jeez. Uh, no? This is the weirdest jank I've ever felt. Is it detached? Okay, I mean, that's a start. I'm slowly making my way over. Um, no. This is just jank of all kinds. I'm just trying to like, what? He is just stuck. Okay. I'd love, like, a comment on, like, the thing I'm actually supposed to do, because this is definitely not it. You know what? I'm just... Screw it. We're just walking. Should be able to make it. Uh, okay, this is not fun. This is, like, no. This is a big no for me. This is, this is like, no. Brain cells not happening today. I'm sure there's a better way to do this. Wow. Is he gonna... Is he gonna make it? I have no clue. This is the jankiest... Oh my gosh. I, I'm probably the first person to do it like this. Do not! Are you kidding me? What? Ugh! Okay. I have no idea. <laughs> this is dumb. Just like me right now. Because there's definitely a better way to do this. But I'm not falling. <sighs> I hate these stupid robots. Okay. I have a different idea to get over. If I just had a battery cell, this would be over in two seconds. And that's it. But I do not have that. So instead, let's try grabbing this. like this grab I don't know if, if it's just me but it does feel a little janky this power up if that's what we want to call it okay, why are we stuck
Yeah, this, you know what? This is fun. It's not fancy, it's not flashy, but it's gonna get the job done. At least we'll get to the other side. He has a lot more trouble grabbing onto things than other things he's going around. Okay. I think there's something underwater here. Okay. Let's so start. We're making our way. We've got two people watching right now. Thank you for watching my pure stupidity because there's definitely a better way to do this, but I'm not doing it that way. I might be the first or second person to do it like this, the dumb way. Without finding the tools that I need, but just making my own path. I'm making it so hard on myself, but I wouldn't expect anything less from the likes of myself. Okay, this is good. Nice. Okay, we're, we've crossed the cavern. Whew. Okay, let him heal. Sack. Nice. Like this. One of those. One of those. I don't know if now is a good time to talk about the other video ideas I'm working on right now. Um, or if I want to hold those to my chest close for now. <sighs> not, you know, it's not a bad problem. Like, the, the problem or that, I, that I'm dealing with lately is I have too many video ideas and not nearly enough time to execute them all. Which is a, which is a pretty fine complaint to have if I, if I do say so myself. But I just don't have time to make these videos. There's one video that I want to make. I'm not going to say what it is. Uh, it is related to music. It's not related to games or Breath of the Tears of the Kingdom. Sorry. It's uh, what's it called? It's like a retrospective, I guess you could say, on on something that has to do with music. And I want to like script that and get that all together. But I don't know how long these videos are going to take, and I'm going to have way less time in July and August because I will be preoccupied probably 24 hours out of the day <laughs> so it's nice that we get to do this sort of stream stuff and relax right now because who knows and I did title in the description of these comments on this video I don't know if I'm gonna continue streaming here like this it may only be temporary oh, you gotta get these guys but I say this because I don't really know, I've been trying to study the analytics behind YouTube and, and everybody says something different or, or it's different and the mileage varies depending upon your channel but some people say streaming live videos like this has a chance of hurting retention, hurting your videos as a whole, right? But I mean here we are sitting at 140 subscribers so I mean like I feel like anything we do is just going to improve so I'm hoping that this sort of does help the channel in some way, but I really don't know. And if the streams do in some case harm the growth of this channel, which last year this time, I only had six subscribers. So, you know, 140 is pretty good. I'm not I'm not discrediting discrediting that because I think that's incredible. Um, but in the case that these streams are hurting the actual channel as a whole, I might be moving it to Twitch. Or somewhere else because um, I have a few other ideas for streams that I want to do aside from Tears of the Kingdom this is kind of like the trial run for figuring this out but I'll tell you one of the other ideas for a stream that I want to do so something that I've had on my mind for way too long and I won't forget but let's take out these guys first so I can talk calmly the general is going to be probably the hardest, but we might want to switch weapons to something longer. Do we have any bombs? No, we don't. <laughs> I still don't know how to fuse stuff yet. Okay, um. I was just going down, boys. Okay. 
That's surprisingly a good weapon. Wow. That's kind of insane. Wow. That is a good weapon. Okay. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay, so like I was saying, that was that was good. Um, but like I was just saying, what I do want to do for future streams, something that I've always wanted to do, is to get better at one piano, get better at guitar, and I want to learn violin. I know this is a, this is a lot of different things I'm throwing out at you right now. Um, but these are things. These are things that have been on my mind for probably the last three, four years now, and I would love to spend all my time, or or a huge chunk of my time, just learning. Like I wanna, I wanna learn as much as possible every given day. But you have all these distractions. Depending on whoever's watching this, you have all these distractions as you get older, that 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 split you apart. Where you're, you know, as a kid, you're here, right? And then the older that you get, you're like slowly like stretch, 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 stretch. And then you're like right about here, right? When you're in your twenties, which is like you're really like thin, right? So you've stretched yourself out so much, and each of these fingers are like, this one's like friends, the thumb is like reading, or and the pinky is writing, but then all of these things are stretched so much and you can't really move around because if you do, it breaks and then you don't have so much time to do things that you'd like to do. But the point of this analogy is that I would love to just learn languages and then in some way Feel like I'm getting something else additionally out of that say you know having people watch me learn how to play violin or uh, get better at piano or, or any of this sort of stuff I don't know the thing I'm struggling with is how would you make that engaging because like how could even like this we've got two viewers I appreciate you watching but I mean like how engaging is this, right? I want to make it as engaging as possible and have you involved in as many ways as I can, right? Obviously, it's very early on still, but I would love to do that, to have you, the viewer, involved more so, and that, that, that does continue into me wanting to learn, like, violin and stuff, and it's like, okay, if I do that live on stream, how can we make that engaging? How can we make that fun and, and full of joy for me, but like, for, I mean, more so for you, but then also to extent for me on top of that. So that's something that's been on my mind for some time now. Oh gosh, I still don't have one of these batteries. Where do you get these batteries? I am like stumped. I still don't have a battery and it wants you to, it clearly wants you to attach batteries and I don't have one. I've missed something crucial. We just got to go into this cave without the minecart. For the one other person watching, uh, any suggestions? Oh my goodness, this is terrifying. I don't have the necessary tools for this. Oh, this is spook. Oh, I'm not a fan of this. Okay. Okay, he's just chilling out here. <clears throat> this cave is especially dark. You need light in order to proceed to the mining site. Do you have any light, bright bloom seeds? Uh, you do not know of them. The glowing flowers there are bright blooms. They shine very brightly. Many use them to, as illumination in dark places. These bright blooms grow natively in caves such as this one. This cave has been picked mostly clean of them. That is because it is especially dark. The seeds were often necessary. Okay. By the way, did you... A stimulus to blossom. Okay. Striking a blight bloom seed or attaching it to an arrow will cause it to activate on impact. I don't know how to attach things yet. It will generally be in your best interest to use bright bloom seeds in dark places such as this.
Ugh, this does not feel good. I'm like, I'm like missing something here. Oh no. Mm, this kind of works. Not the best, but it kind of works. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little spooked here. Oh, I don't like this. Oh my god, dude. What is that? I saw that before. Dude, what are those things? I, ah, oh, I remember those guys. That is just weird. I don't know what to make of that. I'm definitely like missing something here. Like that's obvious. Okay. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Just get rid of all the crappy weapons. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, you know, I'm I'm just going to leave that. <laughs> uh, I'm missing whatever I need here, and I don't know what is missing. can't even go up here. Okay. We're gonna have to come back here. Can we just travel? Like, I missed the whole thing. Like, I walked right past it. Hmm. Can't even... Can't fast travel either. Okay. Hmm. I think we're gonna end the stream. I am very much peeved. Okay, we're gonna just try. There's lots of cool stuff though. Ooh. Hmm. Un unprocessing zonite. Oh, are you fam unfamiliar with this? This is zonite I mentioned. It is a unique mineral that I've mined for trace deposit. Uh, but they are limited to this cave. Our society flourished by processing this substance into other materials. Zonite is processed by smelting it, it in a furnace. It is therefore converted into materials with useful properties. A few such materials will be ready for your review shortly. Wait one moment. Hmm, maybe he's going to give us a battery, finally. Zonite technology is typically powered by zonite charges. These occasionally solidify into a form known as crystallized charges. Converting zonite into other useful materials in this way is called processing. Zonite charges are what power zonite devices and constructs. Yes, we're on the right track. A charge can be consumed to replenish your energy cell, which I don't have yet still. Charge can be... Okay. Do you need anything else explained? Okay, my thing is blocking. Crystallized charges are a solidified form. Even this raw material. Are you not gonna give me a battery? What? Why? That is just strange. I don't get that. Why? Why don't they give you a battery? They're not giving me one. I don't know where to even get it. I might just play a little bit on my own later on and just figure this out. Unless if somebody says in the stream to keep going. I think I'm going to be done soon though. Hip. Backtrack, backtrack, backtrack. That's a little frustrating, I'll admit. <clears throat> Excuse me.
Question. Hmm. I don't know. It's a great, great question. I'm going to say probably not. Clearly missing something here. Very much so. And he's just sitting up there laughing at me. Schmuck. Okay. I think we're going to end it here. I don't want to just walk like uh, endlessly here um, but thank you so much for watching I think we are going to cut it here because I'd like to figure this out maybe I'm going to go back and find out where I'm missing this singular battery because it's really stopping us from progressing any further here unfortunately um, I wonder if I'm the first person to have this issue or if I'm just a moron <laughs> and I just completely missed it and overlooked it but Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sticking around, watching this video later on. And seriously, thank you, thank you to all 140 of you guys for subscribing. And if you do want to support my caffeine addiction, feel free to, uh, you know, hit go down below and uh, give me a cup of joe, all right? So I think we're going to leave it at that. I'm going to go like this. And again, I appreciate you all for watching. And I look forward to further discussions on this channel or potentially on Twitch, but we'll see. And I think we'll leave it there. Cheers, guys, and we will see you next time.